So I've been making these videos for about six years now, and during that time, the Lazy Masquerade channel's seen a few changes. I've gone from exclusively telling spooky stories, to discussing unsolved mysteries, real life cases, photos with chilling backstories, the works. But one thing has always remained the same. The vast majority of you have never seen my face. Granted, my appearance is no mystery to those of you who follow me on Instagram, or who have seen my ice bucket video from all those years ago, but for the most part, I've remained that disembodied British voice. Now, after so long, I've decided it's time for a change. I want to make my uploads a tad more engaging, and that means finally unmasking myself. I'll still be covering the exact same type of content, don't worry, but for my mystery videos at least, where I talk about real human stories. I think it would be fitting to humanise myself a little too. So from now on, outside of my horror story videos, you may be seeing a bit more of this. Hey guys, Lazy here, live in the flesh for the first time, and thank you very much for joining me today. Hmm. So despite all that talk of humanisation, today we're actually looking at a mystery that questions someone else's. And that person, or potential person, is Selene Delgado. Who's Selene Delgado? Well, our mystery starts right here on YouTube actually, so join me as we delve into this online rabbit hole and see what we can dig up. If you're looking for some weird videos that give off strong Uncanny Valley vibes, there's a channel on YouTube called Floresita Dreams. Let's take a scroll down their homepage, and... Oh, okay, some of these thumbnails are a bit strange. <laughs> yeah, this channel's a bit of a trip, and that's even before watching one of their videos. If you decide to go that far, then things only get more bizarre. Soy la chavesa y ya me contó mi marido el estupidísimo de ti, niñato del metro de Valencia, que andas molestando a los ancianos y al ver a mi topaz... All of their uploads are very cryptic. It doesn't help that they're all in Spanish either. Still, I don't think you need to be bilingual to appreciate just how weird this content is. Strange images, unsettling sounds, a million questions. But as much as I, and I'm sure you, can appreciate the creepiness of all of these weird images and sounds, there's actually more going on under the surface in these videos. Well, in one of the videos at least. They're most popular. A video titled Kineteca del Patron, Celine Delgado. I don't recommend you watch this video late at night by yourself. There are some really disturbing images in it that I'm not going to show here, but they're certainly not for the faint of heart, so stay away if you're not into that. But without a knowledge of Spanish or an understanding of the context, it would be easy to write this whole video off as some sort of creepy art project designed to leave a bad taste in your mouth. Though there's definitely some intentional shock value here, this video actually puts forward an interesting hypothesis. First, some backstory. Televisa is a Mexican multimedia company that effectively has a monopoly on the nation's TV industry. Back in the 90s and into the 2000s, they played this segment on Channel 5 called Servicio a la Comunidad, a community service broadcast that would play in between shows throughout the day. The whole thing was designed to help find people that had disappeared, very similar to an Amber Alert. During each segment, the names and faces of missing people would be displayed one by one, and the announcer would tell you their last known location. The show is still remembered and talked about to this day, mostly by those who grew up watching it when they were young. In fact, the broadcasts were targeted at a younger audience. It played during the commercial breaks of cartoons and other family-friendly shows, and given the bleak and somber nature of the announcements, it scared a lot of young viewers. One minute, they'd be immersed in their favourite show, not a care in the world. Then, they'd be interrupted by this. Canal 
va en compañía del menor Víctor Daniel Mendoza Rodríguez. Cristian Vélez Zamudio va en compañía de los menores Erika Cecilia y Cristian Daniel Vélez Ávila. Cualquier informe a los teléfonos de Canal 5. As one YouTube user noted in the comment section of this broadcast, there you were, sitting on the couch, sipping a glass of choco milk at 8 or 9 a.m., when the shrill sounds of cartoons and ads for toys and junk food were suddenly interrupted by an agonizing, ominous silence. The voice of the announcer, forever recorded in your memories, describing unknown persons, giving you dates, and describing disappearances. Can people really get lost for so long? All of the while, that ominous silence, gloomy and empty, made your blood run cold, as a wave of questions and fears possessed your mind. What if that happened to me? Or to my mum, or my dad, or some other member of my family. No, that couldn't happen to me. Right? So that was the whole premise of the segment. Missing people, appeals for information. And if you went missing in Mexico, there was a decent sized chance that your face would pop up in one of these broadcasts. The most famous face to air during Serbifico a la Comunidad was undoubtedly Saline Delgado Lopez. During its long television run, Saline featured in almost every iteration of Sabithico a la Comunidad. The weird thing was, only this one photo of her was ever used. A low quality, grainy image set against a white background. Little information was ever told about her, other than the fact that she was 18 and disappeared in Mexico City. From the beginning, a lot of viewers agreed that there was something off about this photo. Not everyone could quite articulate what it was exactly. But there was something unsettling about Selene, and the fact that her face popped up every so often meant that it stuck with them. This later sparked several rumors about her, including the theory explored in Florecita Dream's video, that Selene Delgado wasn't a real person. The grainy picture, combined with her relatively generic facial features, led many to speculate that Selene's photo was computer-generated. As these rumors started gaining traction, people began digging deeper. Strangely, no public record of any missing person named Saline Delgado Lopez could be found. After that got out, this theory became a full-blown Mexican urban legend, and as the internet became more widespread, so too did the theory that Selena Delgado never existed. To help spread the legend further, people started posting hoax videos online like this. This image was made around the same time Selene reportedly disappeared. It's actually a composite of Derek Todd Lee, the Baton Rouge Slayer, but has since become associated with Selene. Due to the facial proportions of this composite being very similar to that of Selene's face, some have suggested that this was one of the templates used to digitally generate Selene's photo. Florecita Dreams makes the same claim. They supposedly prove this by using a 3D modeling program demonstrating that Selene's face was made from an amalgamation of other images, both real people and other composites. According to them, Selene's face is too similar to these images to be real, and that her photo was constructed using features from various faces. If that's true, then that means the Channel 5 broadcasters intentionally chose to include this fake person in their segment. Selene's picture certainly left a lasting impression on everyone who saw it, so it's possible it was included as a sort of warning to all of their young viewers. Stay vigilant and safe. Personally, I'm not sure this theory holds up. I mean, sure, Selena's face is pretty generic, but by definition, so are most people's. And yeah, the camera is pretty terrible. But this was the 90s, and poorer Mexican families at the time wouldn't have had access to high-quality cameras. There was no public record of Selene going missing, sure, but since 1964, a staggering 214,000 people have disappeared in Mexico. It's possible her records were either lost, misplaced, or not even filed in the first place. The authorities may have simply had too much else going on to bother with her. Not to mention, with so many missing people in Mexico, it's not like Channel 5 had to resort to making up stories and lying to drum up attention for their channel... Oh dear... So as it turns out, Channel 5's Twitter page caused quite a stir last year, when, for a while, they began posting extremely creepy videos at around 3am every night 
only to delete them a few hours later. So that's some really strange content for a professional company's Twitter page to be posting. But what really caught everyone's attention was when they posted this, captioned, Salini. Obviously a reference to Salini Delgado. Now clearly this was all a marketing tactic, with the creepy videos all being distorted versions of other clips found online, some more famous than others. Channel 5 themselves are clearly aware of the Selene mystery, and used her name to get on Twitter's trending page. But what this goes to show is that Channel 5 aren't exactly above this type of ploy, making it more plausible that they faked the image of Selene back in the 90s, just like Floricita Dreams asserts. Whatever the truth behind the Selene Delgado mystery, her story's been very well known in Spanish-speaking internet communities for a long time. However, a fairly recent development brought the urban legend to the attention of the rest of the world. So if you go onto Facebook right now and search the name Selena Delgado Lopez, this account pops up. The woman in this photo sort of resembles an aged up version of the original, grainy photo of Selene. Intrigued users clicked on her profile, curious if this might be the real Selene. Was she real after all? And if so, was she alive? To their horror, everyone who clicked on their profile realized they were already friends with her, despite never having added her in the first place. More bizarrely, there was no option to unfriend her. People started claiming that she was friends with everyone on Facebook, and began saying that the profile was haunted or otherwise nefarious. The account's profile picture ended up being shared more than 126,000 times by spooked users, showing just how far this rumor spread. In reality, this was obviously all bull. This Selena Delgado was simply an ordinary woman who happened to share the same name as our subject. This Selene had simply changed her Facebook privacy settings, hiding the add friend button. She wasn't everyone's friend on Facebook after all. It's actually impossible to have more than 5,000 friends on the site. After being bombarded with messages, this poor woman had to reply to some, saying, I am not missing, nor have I ever been. I'm at home with my family and fine. To be honest, I'm not even sure how this offshoot of the Delgado mystery became so popular. I guess one day, someone just saw that there was no add friend button, checked the woman's name, and linked it to the popular Mexican legend. Then, boom. Hysteria spread. Seriously, do people not know you can change your settings on Facebook? Since then, there have been no new developments, and the truth about the original Delgado broadcast remains shrouded in mystery. Was she a real person, who sadly vanished without a trace, never to be seen again, her family left without closure? and her memory reduced to a slew of fake urban legends? Or did she never exist in the first place? Her face a mixture of several others combined, designed to either scare youngsters into keeping their guards up, or to get people talking about Channel 5? I doubt we'll ever have any definitive proof one way or the other to be honest. I mean personally, I suspect the former, but hope for the latter. The only thing I do know is that uh, this image, yeah, and that's gonna stay in there for a while. Good night. Thanks for tuning in, Lazy Legion. A big shout out to Robin Mickelson for making the thumbnail for this video. Links to his stuff down below. Also, I'd like to say a massive thank you to all of my YouTube members and patrons, especially my biggest supporters. Mrs. Yvonne Rankin, Ms. Crypto, The Only Dorita, Taylor and Monica Gruink, Sloan Crawford, Silas Geist, Sarah Ramirez, Ronnie Franklin, Procupidine Natter, Philip Westra, Peter Logdredge, Native Beauty, Monica Mendoza, Myra Lancaster, Lucas Maniac, Lord 210, Leonardo Martinez, Infamous Sempapi, Grace Archie, Gina Valera, Expand On, 
Crawford K. MacDonald, Connor Lotham, Charlie Lackey, Azrael Warakai, Alex Greensall, Phantom Knight, Hamish K, Yoshi6500, Lydia Glassley, Boise McSnatchy, and Amanda Hansen. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. To everybody else, remember to smash that like button or I'll smash you. Stay spooky. And remember, the best things happen in the dark.